What is that one thing which you can learn from the global news today? Well, I'm sure you all follow the world news very closely. And I'm sure you must have seen this news where Trump is dominating the world with tariffs, right? United States of America is dominating the world with whatever they want. And the world has to follow. Now, they must be having something special why United States is able to dominate the world. The next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. I am your voice. Might be their policies, might be some products, some services, which the world cannot live without Mr. Trump and his United States of America. Well, we must appreciate that is something we all can learn from US of A. Now, I'm not here to praise United States, but I'm here to tell you what can you do as a biotech and pharma graduate to dominate the world of biotech and pharma? And how can you do it? What are the out-of-the-box ideas? What can be your unfair advantage, right? So all of that in this video, I'll give you some sequential plan of action which you can utilize and that will help you build a strong brand for yourself so that the pharma and biotech industry cannot live without you. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because recently I met a consultant and she is a food tech uh, PhD. And after that, she has started her own uh, consultancy firm. And um, a lot of biotech and pharma companies are consulting her, whoever is in the food and uh, preservatives business. So I saw that these companies cannot live without her. Like they have to call her. She has to go and give the, her consultation. So I asked what exactly she did differently, what others are not doing. Right now, one important thing you all should know is don't play the game. Okay, so if you are willing to dominate this pharma or biotech industry, or for that matter, any industry, you have to remember that you should not play the game, you should dominate the game. And to dominate the game, you need to own the game. For example, IPL, right? So, uh, Kolkata Knight Riders or Wrangler Royal Challengers, so they are playing the game, right? But who owns the game? Who can dominate this game is the BCCI, right? The same way, in, instead of playing the game, you can own the game, you can dominate the game, right? And how to dominate the game of biotech and pharma is going to be today's topic. Now to start with, agreed that you are a fresher, you have, nobody knows you, but that is where the clue is. If nobody knows me, how would they hire me, right? So everybody should know you, right? And how should they know you? You must have heard about brands, right? Like Nike or Adidas or Biocon, Biotechnica, Sinjin. So these are brands, right? So the moment you listen up, hear a brand name, you, you know, the recall comes, right? The same way, there's something called personal brand. So you have to build your own personal brand, right? That's the step number one. And how do you do that? You have to become active on LinkedIn. You have to comment below other people who are really popular. You know, interact with them, learn from them, repost what they are posting, post your opinion and uh, don't post something which is obnoxious because that can backfire. But of course, something which is pleasant, some uh, achievement, some, uh, some of your uh, good things which you have done in your career, all of that you have to do. So start posting short insights, learning experiences and biotech and pharma trends in your LinkedIn and other social media. Now, while others are sharing that they went to Goa, you can share that you learned CRISPR. So these things will be having a lot of positive impact on your career. Now, share your learnings from courses, webinars or recent article you read on Biotechnica or anywhere. You can always, you know, talk to professionals, learn from them and then write about what you learned from them. And you should use the right hashtags like pharma jobs, biotech freshers, uh, hashtag life science careers, hashtag Biotechnica. You can even tag me and Biotechnica. So this way, the recruiters who are active and who are looking for personal brands like you will hire you. So that's your unfair advantage number one. Remember, I'm going to give you five to seven unfair advantages. If you do, even if 30 to 50% of that, you can get hired faster. You can dominate the biotech and pharma market and you will win with bigger fat salaries, right? Now, the first thing I told you was personal brand. The second thing which I want to tell you is build a portfolio. Now, most people do not realize that if you just write a CV, like, okay, everybody else has 
Instead, you build a portfolio and make it online, right? So pick any three skills which you are good at. Maybe clinical data management, bioinformatics, regulatory affairs, pharmacovigilance, clinical research, whatever you like, right? Pick any three skills and do two to three mini projects, okay? Or simulations, right? And then present them as a PDF on your LinkedIn or Notion or GitHub and wherever you post in your signatures, in your resume, you can mention the link or the QR code of your portfolio so that the recruiter can go and check what project you did, what was the outcome and uh, what exactly uh, you are working on right now. So, for example, you worked on simulated clinical trial data analysis, phase one trial, uh, my role, data validator. So you can mention like this in your CV and put a QR code or a URL. People will go and check what exactly you did. While others are not doing, if you do that, that's your unfair advantage right so personal branding second is build your portfolio or design your portfolio now one important thing which most people miss out while you're building your brand personal brand on linkedin or anywhere is people start criticizing others if you criticize others you cannot grow especially people who are you know doing good to the society or bad to the society see you are here for your own constructive growth you are not here to uh, you know do social service so instead of uh, doing focusing on that you have to just focus on constructive constructive things which you are posting because the recruiters will look at your linkedin they look at what all things you have posted what all things you have liked what all things you have commented and if they find anything obnoxious well it reflects your bad brand so don't do that okay so i told you two unfair advantages the third unfair advantage is create your own small video portfolio or small uh, video cv so generally you have a textual cv create a video cv now what what do i mean by a video cv maybe you can post on a linkedin too so it's like um, when you are sending your cv you can also mention my video cv is here so even before your interview happened the recruiter knows you by face the recruiter knows you who you are the recruiter knows your communication skills the recruiter knows how smart you are right because others have not done it so that's the unfair advantage number three and you can always uh, go for a professional shoot sit, sit in front of a camera talk like this say that hi my name is xyz and uh, i'm aspiring xyz and i want to become this and i have been doing this these are the projects which i have done and talk about yourself right so mostly the first question which normally uh, recruiters ask is tell me about yourself should have been answered in the video cv itself and you can take help of biotechnic also to create that okay now the fourth unfair advantage which you can have is contributing to open source projects open source drug discovery projects or open source softwares and you can always participate on various platforms for that so for example foldit zooniverse github Various platforms have bioinformatics and uh, artificial intelligence or any such open source project which is going on. You can contribute. Okay, you can write the documentation. You can you can help them in debugging. You can help them in data analysis. And now you mention this in your CV and in your mini project portfolio. So that will help you. Now, what is going wrong with most of us is we feel that okay, if um, I have to get a job, I have to just forward my CV to uh, the recruiter. But everybody else is also doing that. So when you stand out, that's when you can dominate the game. That's when you can be the United States of America of the biotech industry, right? Now, the next uh, unfair advantage which I would like to tell you is talking to experts. Network with them. Networking is your unfair advantage. You know, uh, at one point in time, I was very shy. And I was very uncomfortable talking to strangers. Even now also, sometimes I feel very uncomfortable talking to strangers. But if you are comfortable talking to strangers, talking to scientists, building a network is very, very important. It's not just for jobs. It's for mentorship or feedback you can reach out to them. So most of the scientists, you, many of you don't know this, but that most of the good scientists in US, Europe, India, they will reply to your emails, okay? If they're good people, they'll reply. So you should drop an email to them or reach out to them by Lincoln. Now, the sixth unfair advantage which you can have is publish your own research paper. Now, publishing is typically very, very hard and 90% of the crowd shies away from that. So, what others can't do, if I can do, that's my 
unfair advantage exactly so that's your sixth unfair advantage that you have to publish your own papers and mention that along with the url and qr code so that the recruiter knows that you have published these many papers while you are still doing your masters and that is very very important and of course publishing in a good journal is important if, if you want to take help of that you can always come to biotechnica we have several uh, paper publication support along with our projects and internships you can always take that as well now one important thing which I, I forgot to tell you so far is joining internships so you know internships is the beginning of your job and that's something like okay you are watching the trailer before you go for the movie right so learn by teaching right so you will learn when they are teaching you so many startups ngos edtechs allow bright students to uh, you know join them and uh, work as an intern right you can volunteer um, sometimes to mentor your juniors sometimes you can join some coaching interns exam preparation and they will mentor you you can always write all of the, these internship experiences in your cv for example we have a bioinformatics uh, internship which started last month this month we have a artificial intelligence intelligence and machine learning internship with project starting this month on uh, 30th of this month so if you enroll there and if you uh, do this internship you can write on your linkedin you can create a video about it you can go and uh, talk about the certificate when you receive it and you can talk about the work experience also and all of that will have a positive impact on your cv and now no longer will call you a fresher so that's very important now apart from that the eighth unfair advantage which you can have is combining skills okay so let's take it this is the newspaper right so this is paper right so mostly most of you don't read newspapers anymore so what do you do you combine it with technology you you are reading the same news but in the electronic format and that is your mobile right so what exactly the mobile is doing it is combining the technology which is the in information the newspaper and adding into the uh, technology medium which is the mobile and it is delivering so basically you have to combine two to three technologies for example combining crispr with bioinformatics or crispr with ai or uh, gene sequencing with ai you can learn tools like r studio nime orange to analyze the biological data set then you can create a portfolio saying that how i use ai to predict antiviral peptides suppose you do something like that people will be like okay wow, wow how did you do it and that's where you dominate you become a recognized personal brand in the market right most important thing create your personal portfolio it can be like your name.com or name dot whatever so name dot me so just look for a domain create a one page website portfolio where you mention all of this so that you know whenever you are going if in case they have the outdated cv you they can always access the updated cv and all the links at one place which can be your website.com or dot me so these are the you know eight or nine uh, unfair advantages which i wanted to share with you which you if you implement even if 50 percent of this you can actually start dominating the world of biotech and pharma now apart from that please don't forget these are your marketing skills the main skill is the knowledge which you possess so please study well in your degree bachelor's or master's you should study well do your project do your internship i am not saying that you just do whatever i said in this video and don't study all of that you will win no you can't that way you will just be a good marketer but not a good scientist and remember if you want to become a good professional in biotech knowledge matters skills matter tools matter learn all of that okay so all the best and i'll see you soon as a shining armor in the biotech industry but till then keep learning and of course keep following biotechnica keep sh sharing more news in the comment section if you have any questions i will see you soon bye bye